for this example, we're going to be working with the uh, AutoCAD DWG documents provided by the RIT uh, FMS. Um, they provided us with three documents, the first being RIT Campus Topo, and then BLG Stakeout uh, 2004, and Stakeout 2010. Uh, in this example, we'll be working with uh, 2010. Um, one of the problems worth working with the AutoCAD DWG file format is they are not uh, assigned a geospatial reference, and this can be verified by right-clicking on the file and going to properties. Um, a lot of the information is missing uh, for a specific feature, let's say the point files. Um, so you would want to look up the data source. And here you can see on the data source you have top, left, bottom, and right, which is basically positioning information. And you see the question marks, that's because it doesn't know where it is. Um, it doesn't have a geometry type, it doesn't have a projection or any co uh, coordinate system. Uh, so what we can do is we can make the layer in this ArcMac docu document a certain coordinate system or projection. And you can see here again it says unknown. Um, the one that works actually for this set of data and we'll position it on the world in a real location is the coordinate system in the Monroe County bike trails data set. So you can pick any one of these. I just take the first bike trails. And now you can see NAD 1983 State Plain New York West. And this actually, when you apply it, will allow the uh, features to show up properly in a real world location. Um, so what we want to do is we want to look up the polygons and we're going to export that to a KML file. So you right click on the polygon uh, subset of the data and you export it. <clears throat> and what you want to do is you want to export it with the same coordinate system as the data frame so that the exported uh, polygon will be in the same NAD 1983 state plane projection system. You can click OK. Uh, you actually have to output it to a real location, which is fine. Let's put it up to the desktop for simplicity's sake. And you let it run the export. So here we have the result of export output with the proper spatial referencing uh, overlaid on its real geographic location. So we're going to export this out to uh, KML. And we're going to test it out to make sure it works properly. Here it is displayed in Google Earth. And that is how you can get a DWG file to export properly in Google Earth.